So, you want to get into the car spirit in the middle of October? Just buy this. Literally. Doesn't get any more Christmassy than this. Ka-chow! <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another Piston Cup Productions video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Pixar Cars Wintertime Cruisers assortment from Mattel. We got this through Get Me Collectibles, a full case. Um, he has them on his eBay store individually, but if you want to get a full case for a much cheaper price, shoot him an email and you'll be able to get one yourself. Now, I don't know when these will be hitting stores very soon um, or later down the road maybe by the end of november towards thanksgiving break i'm not sure um hence why i bought mine through get me collectibles just to get it out the way and you know know that i have them in my hands now before they get scalped in stores because i know these will be probably quite popular this christmas uh holiday coming up in the next two months with parents collectors and scalpers so what are we waiting for let's get to the unboxing and review of the vietnam counterparts of old chinese favorites from the cars storyteller book a classic indeed Alrighty, here it is so let's get to it oh i can see the goodies already look at that oh yes look at that Alrighty. well let's get started with mater shall we the very top of the row Let's see what's up with these. Alrighty, look at that. Brand new, in the box, re-released for 2021. I say they look pretty fantastic. Now, first thing you'll notice is they kind of resemble the old shape that they used to be. They used to be packaged in a little sphere type of looking thing. And that's pretty much when they were first released, that's what they looked like. So I'm trying to, I guess, reimagine how that used to look like in a new form for a newer generation i guess you could say especially with that whole empowering the next generation through play thing at the back um, on the back you'll see the other characters included you got luigi and guido the only difference with those is the fact that they now have a different present i should say guido because the one he had before was in green and now the one he has is in blue um Sally is also in the case. Same goes for McQueen. An uh, intro Ramon is now a brand new release in here, so it'll be interesting to see how he looks in comparison to intro Ramon from Car Street. Doc Hudson has gone in reissued as well. I don't know if there's anything different, but we'll see. And we got Sarge, and the most special one in my opinion, the reindeer mobile, or better known as a snowmobile. And this guy was canceled years ago, but it's Pretty awesome that Mattel is even bothering to reissue this guy in. Now here is the big issue. There is not one, not two, but three Lightning McQueens. And you know, Mattel's no stranger to this. We get it, Lightning McQueen's the main character. They have to shove plenty of him inside of every case they ship out because he's the main character, he's the selling point. But instead of three little McQueens, we could have had maybe just two. That leaves us with one extra spot and we could have done two intro Ramones. Heck, instead of, I don't know, maybe two maters they could have done just one and another luigi and guido because of the new present but then again two maters does make sense because he is a highly profitable character just like lightning mcqueen so here is ramon and i gotta tell you he looks absolutely fantastic in his new blue paint job at least i think so anywho 
we're going to get to the unboxing of Blue Ramon and compare him to his other two counterparts on the turntable. So let's get to it. So here is your boy Ramon in all of his glory and I gotta tell you the details are absolutely fantastic. They're all there. Everything you could have ever asked for for a Ramon Christmas with 2021 Christmas beautiful blue. Actually you can call it Sierra Blue if you even want to if you're an Apple enthusiast like me. I gotta say it looks absolutely impressive and definitely overtakes the one from Cars 3 if you will. A bit of a shame that he doesn't have white walls because if he did have the white walls that would have been a chef's kiss and perfect theming really because the white walls would have in my opinion completed the look but nonetheless it's still a great car i can't complain the shade of blue they chose for him is really nice and the ribbons he has on here are very similar to the ones he has in his original release now i gotta applaud mattel that every season they've pretty much released vehicles this year for easter we got the easter buggy and mcqueen with the bunny ears for Halloween, we're getting Hot Rod Steve Herschel and Mummy Luigi and Guido. And for Christmas last year, around November, we got this same Ramon right here and Hot Shot Lightning McQueen. Or I believe that's what it was called. Hot Shot McQueen, something like that. So it's great to see that for this Christmas, we're getting pretty much a whole assortment of re-releases from the Storyteller book collection. I mean, I didn't expect that from Mattel, but it's still a very welcome way to introduce these newly reissued vehicles to pretty much a generation who probably doesn't even know about these i think it's a great way to promote an old book of mater pretty much that was told years ago that we all know for so so long now um, hopefully they have some plan to re-release the book in stores like at target or something and maybe they could do a thing where it's like buy the book you get a free car for free at the checkout I think that would be the perfect opportunity and self-promotion for these new re-releases of these Christmas vehicles. So, Mater, is there anything different or not? Let's find out. Now, first I want to look at them inside of the packaging. And if I notice a big difference, I'll unbox them, shall we? So, from what I can see right here on the sides, I can't really see much of a difference. They seem pretty much, if not exactly the same. Uh... One difference I do see, however, is the fact that this Mater, the Chinese counterpart one, has a bit of a beige tone for his little hat up here. And the one from Vietnam has it in completely white. Now, granted, I don't know if mine is like sun faded or something happened for that to change color. But that seems to be really the only difference. When you look at the eyes, they seem to be very similar, not very different at all. Um, I think I'm going to pass on opening in this one. They seem very similar. Now, I don't think either or have rubber tires. These seem to be plastic. Hopefully some new ideas that they can possibly come up with, like maybe Cruz Ramirez. Maybe they could re-release this guy, Sheriff, right here, but now with the green tone. That was his original release when he first came out. He had a green color instead of black, so maybe they can reissue that one because that variation of Sheriff is quite hard to find now in comparison to this second release that was in complete black. Anywho, now let's move on to Sally. And Sally here, despite only being one in the case, I think maybe she would have been welcoming to have two of in the case. But then again, this series does focus a lot on Radiator Springs and everyone from the town. So it'd be a little bit difficult to feature two of each in the case, unless they were going for a case of 24. But that's not the case here because there's only 12. And looking at the differences side by side, I can't really see much again, just like on Mater. So either they're doing a good job of replicating China's work or they're just, you know, I don't know. The only difference I can really see is her eyelashes, her makeup. She, it looks like she doesn't have makeup on her new counterpart, if I'm going to be honest. On the old one, however, it looks like she does have those eyes, liners, I guess you could say, on her eyes. And the, the yeah, the eye lining around the whole windshield and actual eyeliner on her eyes. Uh, that doesn't seem to be the case with the reissue of Sally, however. Now I'm checking off camera for a unibody and it seems to still not be a unibody. 
It seems to be a mouth plate. So we both have mouth plates, which are separate plastic pieces for the mouth instead of fully die cast metal. So that's a little bit disappointing, but now we're gonna take a look at Luigi and Guido. Now for sure, we're gonna be opening these. So let's get to it, shall we? Look at that there, Luigi and Guido reissued and now Guido has a brand new color present because this was his original one. It was green with a red bow. So now it's blue with a white bow and I think it looks a little bit better to be honest. The white and blue Christmas present. I feel like it just fits the whole theme of the packaging that these guys are being released in along with the intro Ramon. I feel like it just fits, you know? Now, as far as Guido goes, um, the differences, again, they're not really there. If anything, the only difference I'm seeing are a little bit of the eyes, the shadowing on the eyes, and of course, the actual present. Now, I think the original has a movable scarf. Does the new one have a removable scarf or a movable scarf? Yes, it does. Look at that. It can move around. So both are, if not exactly the same. It's just the present that's different, really. So we'll put those off to the side. I'll be honest, when I purchased this case from Get Me Collectibles, I knew I wasn't gonna be seeing many differences. I knew that they looked very similar. So I knew what I was getting myself into, but it's still interesting to see if anything changed at all. And Luigi is no different. The only differences I'm seeing are the eyes, really. Um, I do like the new one, however. The eyes just pop out a lot more in comparison to the old one. Um, the stars, however, they don't seem to really pop out too much on the new one because, I mean, if you can't even tell, he has stars on his sides, little white stars. And you can see it on the original Chinese counterpart. There's little stars on there. A the new one uh, didn't really get that justice because you can't really see the stars painted on his sides, on the doors, on his hood, and even on the back. So, yeah, uh, it's all right. I mean, it could be better, but anywho, that's enough for the pair of Luigi and Guido. So now let's go ahead and move on to Lightning McQueen. Now I will be opening up McQueen and mainly the main reason is because, well, mine is very damaged. It's even missing one of its lights right there. So let's go ahead and open up Lightning McQueen. Uh, yeah, really the only difference between these two are the eyes and the fact that mine <laughs> is missing one of his little lights there. And mine has seen better days and it's got quite an amount of chips. Anywho, um, yeah, just like the others, not many differences really. All I can really say is the eyes look different and that's pretty much it. The Chinese counterpart does seem to have more snow on his shovel up the front, more snow detailing. Same goes for the tires. It seems like the Vietnam one has way less of those details. I remember Vietnam is on the left and the Chinese counterpart, the original, is on the right. Well, since they're spinning now, the Chinese one is on the left and the Vietnam one is on the right, but you get the idea. Um, I do notice now that I'm speaking, the window tint is a different color and I quite like the one on the Vietnam one. I think, you know, it looks quite nice. I, I think it looks nice. Um, now, whether it's... Uh, better in your opinion or not that just varies with you but i personally like it i like the look so now we're gonna get on to doc hudson all right here he is doc hudson so what's different what's the same well as much as i'd like to tell you in a good form but i can't i'm not gonna sugarcoat there's no difference. They're exactly the same. There's not a single difference. I don't see a single difference. Maybe it's because I haven't taken it out of the box. But that's the thing. I don't see the point or motive to take it out of the box because it's an exact same copy. Even the eyes and the shading on the eyes look different. And normally from Vietnam, they have, you know, different eyes. But they seem very, very, very similar. I don't see a single difference at all. So it's uh, pretty much a duplicate for me. So I won't be opening it up. Actually, I take that back. I won't be opening it up, but the only difference I see is the window tint. 
just like McQueen actually it's the same case it is a lighter blue on the one that is still in the box from Vietnam and the original is a lot darker and transparent looking you can see it right there the colors of the window tint are different anywho enough of Doc we're gonna get on now to Sarge and you know I'm not expecting much different so here they are um, what I can notice is that the actual green on Sarge's model seems to be a little bit more vibrant than the original counterpart. I'm trying to see what else is different. Um, I think the expression is actually different. Yeah, it is quite, well, it's just the eyes really. Now, whether or not that justifies it for me opening it, I don't know. It's really just the eyes. If, I do like the new eyes, however. These, uh, I've never noticed how stupid they look. I really don't like how his eyes look on this old counterpart. So I quite like how they look on this new one. But I think I need time to think about whether opening it or not. Just for the sake of new eyes. Anywho, I know you all have been itching for this. I know I have. It is the unboxing of the snowmobile. Times two. And I applaud Mattel for releasing two of these in the case because this is definitely one that everyone is gonna wanna get, especially since it was canceled years ago and now all of, you know, out of nowhere, all of a sudden, it's here. So let's get to the unboxing. Man, uh, I really wish I had the Santa Mobile vehicle that came out. I really hope they re-release that one because that would just complete my set with these reindeers and McQueen here. You know what? Let's, let's bring in Mater also because, you know, he was a big part of the story. You know, it's his little tall tail too, you know. Um, so there are the snowmobiles. They look great. I honestly like them a lot. And I really hope that when this case drops in stores, which hopefully it'll be very soon, I'll be able to buy at least seven more so I can complete all of Santa's reindeers. Connor and Rudolph and I forgot all of them. Anywho, let me know what you think about these guys and if you'll be picking them up. The details are quite nice, I gotta say. And they're tiny. When I speak tiny, I mean tiny. There's Guido in comparison. Here's Luigi as well. They're quite small vehicles. Here's um, McQueen next to them. You can start seeing the scale that you're dealing with with these little guys. I really like the detail for the antlers though. That looks really cute. And same for the... All of this at the bottom right here is just really adorable. I really like how this looks. Let me see if I can back up a little bit to show you in better detail. Yeah, all of this right here. And the little wheels. I mean, it just... It works a lot. I'm really glad that they released these guys. So, I'm quite the happy consumer, I guess you could say. Quite happy with these releases so ladies and gentlemen there you have it officially three new releases for this christmas year i think it's going to be a great christmas this year for anyone who's going to be wanting cars and of course it you know it just fits the theming and i feel like this was the great decision that mattel made as far as marketing this was the best decision they could have done re-releasing characters that we haven't seen in these paint jobs for years it's been years since we've last seen these guys and when they re-released the green ramon and hotshot mcqueen last year for the 2021 mainline around because you know the 2021 mainline came out a few months early before 2021 was even you know the year we're, we're currently you know currently living in um but when i saw those first get re-released i was like what could this mean could they possibly release the others and sure enough here they are and they even went the extra mile to reissue all of them with slight little tweaks like Guido and Luigi and even release a canceled vehicle known as the snowmobile. Anywho, let me know if you'll be getting these uh, soon in your stores. Piston Cup Productions signing out and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.